under David Bailiff, who took them to great heights and great success, was the Conference USA Coach of the Season in 2008 and 2013. But it seemed it was about time to head into a new direction as Sean Young kicks this to the back of the end zone. Rice will set up at the 25. The Santana at the 25, Marshman immediately looks to the right. It was a low throw, but hauled in by Cephas, who breaks a couple of tackles, and eventually Cephas brought down by the umpire. Ice has struggled mightily on third downs recently. They were one for 17 against UAB. This is a low snap, not going to help Marshman, but he scrambles and finds the first down. Nice play by the redshirt freshman not to panic after a low snap. All times since a walk-on freshman has started for this Rice Owls program to make an impact tonight. The play fake, now he'll roll out to his left, flick it over the top, and that's caught for a first down, Austin Trammell. Wow. We'll see how much they open up the passing game throughout the course of this contest. Marshman gonna tuck it down and scramble forward and gets inside the FIU red zone. That was actually a second and shorts. He's found a number of high, highly talented defensive transfers and of course, at quarterback, who we'll see in just a little bit. Third down and six for the Owls. Slant routes across the middle. As that completes, that's Austin Walter, who caught it spin quickly to the line in the eye. They play fake. He's got a man open. Now he's going to scramble. And Marshman, the redshirt freshman, will dive into the end zone. Touchdown, Rice. The underdog Owls take the lead at FIU. Minutes remaining. One of the highlights of his season. He'll begin in the gun with Napoleon Maxwell to his left. Fires a dart towards the far sideline. And that's C.J. Warden making a couple of men miss. At their own 18-yard line. Under six minutes to go first quarter. Rice brings pressure. It's the screen. And that's going to fall incomplete. Maxwell was overthrown. The Blue Raiders stacked the box against FIU. Really forced FIU to pass, which Morgan did effectively. Third down and short, Marshman gonna fire a deep ball towards the far sideline, and that's broken up. Great pass protection on the opposite side. Uh, Rice in the wrong formation. Well, a couple linemen weren't set there. Quick hitch to the outside, and that's gonna be a first down. C.J. Warden with his second reception. This one will stand. Do a play fake and it was wide open, so look to see if FIU comes back with that same play. Well, we've Roll seen out. the Panthers go tempo on third downs here on this drive. Another handoff to Phillips, and he bruises his way forward for a first down. He's limping back towards the FIU locker room with his helmet off. Not a good sign for the Panthers. Morgan, a dart to Maurice Alexander. He evaded the first tackle, so slippery in space, Maurice Alexander. A first down. What a dynamic senior campaign he had as he now watches the new number 12 for the Panthers operate the offense. Devontae Price on the sweep. Gets good yardage on first down and 10. Sean Darius Phillips getting taped up along the lower leg on the sideline. Perhaps we'll see much more of Price throughout the course of this game. Morgan going to flip it to Price on the pitch on second down. Uh, first and 10, I beg your pardon. And he rumbles for it for another first down from number 24. And it's going to be third down and six here at the 15-yard line. Four down linemen for Rice. Four wide for FIU. Morgan takes a low snap. Pressure, he's forced out of the pockets, and Alexander can't hold on to that. Great pressure applied from the edge. Here comes Jose Borgales for a 32-yard field goal from the right hash. Set a program record last week with a 53-yarder, and he has no problem with that one. Puts FIU on the board. So you're playing with a first-time walk-on redshirt freshman quarterback, and that's tough as a coaching staff. Well, he's performed admirably tonight, but the FIU defensive line comes through here. Tier Tart with the initial contact as the receiver on the near side, furthest to the near side. Tony Gator also in as well. Morgan has time in the pocket. All sorts of time fires to his tight end. It's Sterling Palmer who gets about seven yards after initial contact. Rice 7, FIU 3. Morgan in the gun again on third down and shorts. Maurice Alexander made a man miss. He has a lot of green in front of him. Maurice Alexander, it's a house call. 
touchdown FIU. The former quarterback with a dash to the end zone and some track speed. And just watching former, just watching film on on Alex, and he's had a great career here at FIU, and I'm just looking forward to seeing him on Sundays. Alex, how how quick did that final year go for you with the new coaching staff, the the bowl game season? It's Rice going for it on, excuse me, on first and ten here at interception for FIU. They force the turnover, their first of the game. Edward Freeman. That's Ed Freeman, the transfer from Texas. Big play for FIU. Down to nine right here for FIU as they try to take advantage of the first interception of the season for Ed Freeman. Maloney has a bit of space. End zone, FIU. The home run pass from Morgan to Maloney. Touchdown, Panthers. James Morgan channeling his Alex Magoo right there. Marchman, first and 10 on his own 25. Design QB run, has some blockers, and spins into a first down. They have not been afraid to use him in the rushing game. Yeah, they're on him. Great play call. Right time. Yeah, sets up a second and two, Kenny. Uh, Walter with another carry, bounces off the first tackle. Ed Freeman was clamoring for uh, like a block in the back. It would be problems for this FIU defense. You're going to have to find a way to slow him down. Empty backfield for Marshman, and again on the designed run. Marshman right around the marker. Big third down as the first half winds to a close. Under a minute to go. High formation, Walter the carry, bouncing back inside, and he gets enough for the first down. Under 30 seconds to go now, first half. Marshman takes a low snap. Again trying to scramble out of the pocket. He's brought down in the backfield. Josh Little is everywhere for FIU. That's a big sack, and Rice will be forced to take their final timeouts. Clock ticking now, 10 seconds to go in the half. Marshman takes the snap. He's got four receivers. Looks like he wants to tuck it. Now chucks it out of play with three seconds left on the clock, and now the field goal unit will come out. Hayden Tabola, the senior. Four for five this season. Kick is up and on its way. Just over the crossbar and in. Half yards, so he'll start off in the gun. The targets Austin Maloney, and that was nearly deflected or maybe intercepted by that dime corner for Rice Pretty Calderon. Instead, Maloney has a nice reception for a first down off uh, right after the throw. A big third and 11 conversion to Sterling Palmer earlier in the half. Four wide for FIU, Maxwell in pass protection. Maloney goes up to snag it out of midair and dives forward for a first down. That's a veteran play for number 15 for FIU. Hometown kid out of Christopher Columbus High School. So eventually, eventually James Morgan will have to keep that ball and pull it around the end to keep that defense honest. Morgan will take a low snap again. He hands it off. Napoleon Maxwell spinning, bouncing off tackles, bouncing off the referee, and falling forward for a first down. Longest run of the night for Napoleon Maxwell, a redshirt senior. Gaskin, Thomas, Maloney here on this possession. Third down and nine. Morgan three-step drop. Dart is deflected by Douglas Dotson. Getting in on the play again. It was three for four last week, including that program record 53-yarder. This has plenty of leg. No problem here from Jose. They call him FIFA on this team. You, you look at the first half, time of possession. 17 minutes and 35 seconds for Rice, 12 minutes and 25 seconds for FIU. So that's working in, FI, in Rice's favor is keeping that explosive offense of FIU off the field. Got a Mississippi State's in the Liberty Bowl in 2013. A lot of success under Bayliff, but that had stagnated. And they felt it was time for a change. Marshman scrambling on third and five and shoved out of bounds for a loss. Nowhere to throw the football. A coverage sack there for FIU. Two signing days in college football. Second and seven. Morgan has Ivan Thomas with nobody around him. He'll stutter step and get a first down here. Thomas has a couple receptions tonight. Price is in the slot now in motion once again. They fake it to him. Now Morgan will go into the flat, and Ivan Thomas has enough for the first down. That's great pocket awareness. FIU controlling tempo and possession. 
in the third quarter. Price will get another carry. Oh, he made a man miss. Put the moves on him. Now across the 35-30. Price forced out of bounds. That's a nice carry from the sophomore. Well into Rice territory. Morgan now operating at the 29-yard line. First and 10 with under four minutes to go in the third quarter. Rice will bring five. Morgan still has time in the pocket. Firing a home run pass. Far sideline. Touchdown. Caught. Touchdown. Shamar Thornton. Two catches this season, two touchdowns for the sophomore. What a grab in the corner of the end zone. I thought to see teams that are not going to stack the box anymore. They're going to have to put some guys back there deep to, to control his passing. And you get the feeling now that Marshman is going to have to operate much more through the air than these designed quarterback runs for five or six yards right. for an offense to operate. They call it intellectual brutality. So often you know they're going to run the ball, but you can't stop it. Blockers hit their assignments every time. You got working different. Uh, departments at those smaller schools helped him be a better head coach. Rice on the end around here. They'll get a first down. Olin Cushion with the tackle. Nice run on the play. Otaviano, 15 yard gain on the play. First and 10 now for Rice with a minute remaining in the third quarter. They'll play fake it. Now fire straight down the middle. Nice catch. Austin Trammell, the sophomore, before the hit was delivered, becoming a bigger part of the offense as the season continues. Marshman will keep it here, has some blockers, more space for Evan Marshman. He gets to the pylon and that's a touchdown for Evan Marshman. He took a big hit as he reached the end zone. A 22 yard scramble from the red shirt freshman. Vince has struggled over the course of the past couple of games, but already much more success in three quarters than they've seen in two weeks. Morgan takes the first down snap, flicks it to Devontae Price. He's already made some big plays today. He delivers another first down for FIU. He's been used in the ground game. Can you imagine how the game will look 50 years from now, AJ? Ah, I think you'd be Who knows? Up. Morgan, another home run shot, targeting Maloney, overthrew him. Overthrew him, and the Panthers are going to be forced to punt. And Maloney once again had a step. Happy, certainly, priorities moving forward. Borgat, that's Stone Wilson, excuse me, I beg your pardon, shakes a man, and he's rumbling forward. First down and more, and a big hit delivered. Flag. And flags are coming. That might be targeting. Yeah. Stone Wilson, a huge run, but this might be coming back. C.J. Warden, the lone receiver on the right side of the line. Morgan with a little hitch, now fires deep to Maloney. Cots just outside the 20. The line has done a wonderful job of protecting their quarterback tonight. Four catches, 73 yards for Maloney. Now Warden gets it on the tunnel screen, has it inside the 10, and falls forward to the 6. C.J. Warden has had a productive affair as well. Second and goal, Morgan. He'll keep it, makes a man miss. Morgan, end zone. Touchdown, Panthers. Morgan carries it into the end zone this time, the first time this season. <laughs> He's put up points on the ground. And he has another year here, too. He, though he graduated Bowling Green, he did it in three years. He has two years of eligibility here. A deep pass down the far sideline. A dive and an interception on the far sideline. What a pick. Richard Dames laying out. Deficit FIU with the football. They've hung tough for a majority of tonight. But the strength of FIU starting to make it self-evident, including the ground attack and Devontae Price. The numbers in these losses are perhaps what added to the frustration of this one and six start as Morgan, standing in the pocket around midfield, fires a dart to the 32. Interested to see the, the recruiting class they put together on early signing day and what Bloomgren is able to do with another full cycle here. Third and seven for Morgan at the 29. Got it off just before pressure hit him off the edge. Is from 46 along the right hash. Kick is up and on its way, and that is good. Hip, hip, Jose. The high school quarterback threw for 2,300 yards and 31 touchdowns at Crosby High School. Green uh, avoids a man in the pocket. Fires this out of bounds. Marshall defeats FAU 31-7. Five turnovers on the Owls as Alexander another carry on third down. Under two minutes to go now, second and 10 for Green. 
Pump faked it to the outside, and Ike Brown intercepted him inside the 10. Second pick for the FIU defense on Wiley Green. Ike Green. Ike Brown, Red Green's pass. That uh, you've seen a, a, a defense tonight that, that really came through and finally got four tackle for losses, created some turnovers, and that's Butch Davis football. Turnovers and TFLs, tackle for losses. Well, Butch Davis has FIU in first place in the Conference USA East Division. He has his FIU Panthers 5-2 and two unbeaten in conference play. 36-17, the final score tonight. FIU improves to 3-0.